Hey, I am back with Sue Davis, Director of Nutrition Programs here at Fast Action Training and talking about cheat meals today. And so here's the thing, I know, Sue, for a lot of our clients, they think about a, a nutrition program or, or you know, they, they use that word diet all the time and they automatically think, oh geez, I have to give up everything. I, I'm, you know what, I'm probably going to have to eat just broccoli for the rest of my life. And I, I think a lot of them get scared about that. So in terms of like a, a quote cheat or treat meals, you know, is that okay in your eyes? Absolutely okay. Uh, I think when you're thinking about your nutrition and your eating, it ought to be more about what you can do rather than what you can't do. Be positive about the changes you want to make for yourself. My rule of thumb is about 10% of your meals every week should be a cheat, a treat, and an indulgence. Enjoy those favorite foods, but do so in moderation. Then once you've enjoyed it, get rid of it. Don't let that one cheat or treat put you on that downhill slide saying, well, if I cheated at lunch, I might as well cheat at dinner. I didn't do well at breakfast. The whole day is shot. No, get rid of it. Come on back. Get back to that clean eating that you know you should be doing, but know that you'll still be able to enjoy those favorite foods.